On this episode of Community Positive, we're here at the First Interstate Center with Matt Meyer, Jesse Pierpoint, and Cami Bradley. Check it out. I mean, because there's a ton of stuff that goes on. Like at any given time, you guys have multiple events and... Yeah, the weekend when the mandate came down that we all had to go home and shut, shut everything down, NCA would have been going on up here. This entire campus over here would have been um, P and Q, the Pacific Northwest Qualifying Volleyball Tournament. Oh, we had right. a couple other smaller meetings going on in, the, in that venue as well. And then I think a Broadway show is supposed to come on here. Wow. Today we're with Matt Meyer, Director of Entertainment for the Public Facilities District in Spokane. You get to do really awesome stuff. Thank yeah. you for having us in the Convention Center. Tell us about your job. Uh, absolutely, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, we're sitting in the First Interstate Center for the Art on, on the stage right now. Um, it's one of the buildings that I book, as well as the Spokane Arena. Um, and we, we, meaning my team and I, we oversee the operations and the event aspects of everything that comes through both of these buildings. It's a pretty cool industry, and it's a really, really neat job to be, be part of. So your life revolves around events and people grouping together, coming around, having a good time. This yeah. has been a difficult time. It's, it's the opposite of that right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's been very difficult. We've been moving a lot of events around. We've been changing a lot of things up, looking at a lot of different scaled models of both venues. And right now I'm working on a state level with the governor's office to put some guidelines in place, collaborating with them. Um, as well as the Mariners, the Seahawks, and all the other major venues in the state of Washington to put these guidelines together to start hopefully opening up some of these buildings. You got to take social distancing into effect. You have to take capacity into effect. What are some of the, the ideas you guys have come up with and how dynamic of a process is it? Uh, we're literally just throwing everything at it and whatever idea, there's no dumb idea right now. There never really is, but especially right now, it's how can we make this work? How can we get people back into our buildings, uh, including the convention center? I've started looking at a scaled model over the, our ballrooms even as well uh, with tables and chairs and um, yeah, putting the social distancing into the arena that's cutting down the capacity quite substantially. And then especially in here as well, we're going from 2,600 probably down to about 460. Wow. Cheers. So. It's neat being here. We appreciate the tour. We appreciate you letting us film here and, and just be in this amazing space. Yeah. It's crazy to think that this amazing space has just been empty. Like, you do have, I think, one of the coolest offices in Spokane. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's been quite interesting. Um, and that's kind of the word I just keep using just because right now, and the months that have, we've been shut down are typically our busiest months, especially the theater um, and then the arena as, as well. I mean, we're on the tail end up at the arena on the tail end of the chief season going into playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, the shock, we're about ready to start back up. We had a couple concerts that were set to, to go. Down here we had, and I think we've lost two Broadway shows. I mean, all the graduations that were supposed to be down here. Um, it's hitting everything locally to on a national level, touring level. So it's, Yeah. It's, it's disappointing, but it, I mean, there, there's a light at the end of the tunnel that we keep looking at. It's kind of glows, but then kind of shuts off at times. But it's it, we're still moving forward. And we're trying to stay positive, and end goal is just get people back here. We make sure that every project that we uh, build or add or whatever it may be, um, that a portion of the budget actually goes back to supporting the local artists in the community. Um, the sportsplex that we're in the process of building across the river over by the arena, that'll have uh, a lot of large art pieces in it as well. Going to events is something that brings people joy. Uh, everything that comes of it, I mean, it's a lot of people's livelihood. What have you seen in the community that's been just positive throughout this? Something that I think has been great, um, again, on the, the, the state level, all of our, uh, all these larger venues from both UW and WSU, to the Tacoma Dome, uh, the Spokane Arena, the new arena, the old key arena. Um, and then you bring in the Mariners, the Seahawks, Trailblazers, and all their affiliated uh, companies. We're all working together to reopen all these massive buildings. And mm -hmm. I'm taking that model and bringing it back to Spokane where Brian Ritter over at the, the Fox, he and I talked and we're trying to collectively bring all of our venues together in town here to just reopen everything with this wording, same verbiage and get the messaging out to where it's, it's easier for the attendees to come back into all of our buildings, knowing that it's the same policy, the same procedures going into, into effect, knowing that some buildings will have little differences here and there, but the majority of everything in the, 
the major uh, guidelines are the same throughout yeah. all the buildings. Well, just like when this happened, it was unprecedented, right? There yeah. wasn't something you could look at. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> let's try this, see what works. I, I think as we re-enter yep. back to the real world, you know, being able to communicate with yeah. the Fox and other facilities and, and share best practices and share... Sure what's working and not working, have that more of that, you know, collaborative yeah. mindset is, is going to be absolutely critical. Yeah. And it, it, what's nice for one of the positives for being in the Northwest right now is we are on the tail end of everything opening. So that means there's venues on the East coast that have already opened. I, I've been in communication with uh, arena over in South Carolina that just got done doing a bunch of graduations. So I'm trying to bring that model back into Spokane so we can get Gonzaga and all their, uh, graduates to go through later mm -hmm. in September. Um, and I mean, you look at UFC putting on the fanless fight down in Florida, taking that model and bringing it back. And we're, we're collectively, there's a lot of venues collectively across the nation that are looking at a lot of these things, trying to piece it all together. And that's again, what we're taking, bringing back to the governor's office and saying, okay, th this is what's working. This is, this is how it's worked. And people have been safe while doing it. What's the light at the end of the tunnel for the events and entertainment in, in Spokane? I mean, what's that, the cool stuff that's, that's still going to come? Well, entertainment in general has always been an out for any human and anybody when like in any time like this. So it's, uh, you look at all the live streaming that's going on right now with all the concerts and the live stream festivals and stuff like that. And I mean, it's giving people hope. It's giving that, that light at the end of the tunnel. And once these, once we're able to open up the venues and bring people back in, that that's the light. The survey that we put out, that I put out um, uh, about a month ago, uh, it's uh, the results on that have been extremely positive. People are itching to get back, and the results are, I think it was about 60 to 70 percent of people were willing to come back either as soon as possible or in August or September. So, I mean, that's that shows you right there that people really have an itch to see live entertainment and they want to get back in and enjoy themselves. Yeah. Just get back together. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, Matt, thank you so much again. Yeah, really appreciate you letting us use the convention center. This place is amazing. Yeah. After this, we have Cami Bradley. Check out community positive, a TV show dedicated to promoting positivity. Each week, we highlight business owners and community leaders doing incredible things in the Spokane community. Saturday and Sunday at 6 on Fox 28.